Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series. How exciting is this? We are just 13 days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins. That's less than two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't count. Okay, so, in this episode, we're at the number four thing that we're counting down, the things I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins. So, the number four thing is... Storylines. Yeah, so... Of course, a massive part of any video game, especially Assassin's Creed, is the narrative, it's the plotline. And this storyline looks particularly interesting, to say the least. Now, especially when you have a character like Bayek, it's based on the origins of the Assassin Order. Like, this is something that I'm very intrigued by. Obviously, as a setting, it being in Egypt during the Roman occupation, that's an interesting historical setting. And to add that into the storyline with characters like Cleopatra, Julius Caesar, that's in and of itself quite an interesting place to base an Assassin's Creed game. Now, when you have the origins of the Assassin Order, that's when I'm like, okay, well, what are we doing? This could go one of two ways, and obviously it's up high because it could be amazing, this storyline, but it also could completely go the other way. But, you know, I'm hoping for it being awesome, of course. And that's what I'm going to kind of go into it thinking, well, I expect it to be good. You know, I, I'm not going to go in expecting it to be terrible. God, please be good. No, but the storyline with Assassin's Creed Origins is an interesting one. I was of the opinion before the game was announced that to tell a story with the origins of the Assassin Order, not necessarily a good idea to put a definition on something that we don't necessarily need to know. It was almost good being a mystery. It made the assassins more mysterious. But I think it's probably the right time, if there's a time, uh, to do this sort of storyline, to do this sort of narrative, to put that definition on it, especially because there's already a lot of questions to it, like, well, why is Bayek not known to us in the future of the Assassin Order? Why is he lost? Obviously, there's some interesting things that are going to happen with this character throughout the storyline. The fact that he's not an assassin at the start of this game. You know, he's a Magi, and he builds the Order from that. You've got to think that he's gone through some very interesting things prior to what we know the Bayek has in this game, uh, with whether it be family or culturally, and uh, it took me a long time to say culturally. No, but seriously, in the sense of, he seems like a complex character, and the way they're going to weave that into the storyline and try to have him construct the Assassin Order, that in and of itself, it, you know, gives some sort of interesting storyline. And the way in which he seems to be working through this narrative, in the sense of, obviously, there's Aya, his wife, as well, that's in this game, and they both have different ways about doing things. And it seems to me like when it comes to the origins of the Assassin Order, especially after talking to Center Strain on Kill Connor Club, he said, you know, it's not just Bayek's story, right? Obviously, there's other playable characters, we don't know all of them, but to, you know, you suspect it's Aya's one of them, right? So, I do believe that there's going to be a lot of complications with these two characters throughout this narrative working together. Sure, they're together, husband and wife, but there's going to be a lot of disagreements, but it's going to be that disagreement that builds the order from there, in my opinion. I did say back in the number nine countdown that I thought Bayek might lose Ayer and all these sorts of things, but the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, they're both going to be just as important to the order because the order's not going to be built from one guy, right? Like, it makes more sense that it's multiple ideas that come together um, that are worked towards, and what better people to kind of work towards solution together that may disagree than, like, a husband and wife? Like, it makes more sense than two completely different people with completely different ideas and try to bring them together. Usually, those are combustible elements. They don't usually work towards a solution unless, you know, you've got some sort of strong connection with each other, and I think... Maybe a relationship like that can be what builds the order itself. Obviously, there's a modern day element to this narrative, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. But I think the way in which just the Ancestor storyline, just the Bayek storyline, is going to be very interesting in how he builds the order. And I do think, in terms of some quick modern day stuff, that Juno will come into it, Pieces of Eden will come into it. I know James has said multiple times that he believes Bayek's going to find a piece of Eden very early on in the game, and I think that makes a lot of sense, especially with how he's going to uh, come into contact with uh, Order of the Ancients and them being kind of his enemies. Like, it's not just going to happen out of nowhere. They're going to 
kind of find him when he finds a piece of Eden. Because obviously, we know the Order of the Ancients are using an apple, or apples perhaps, to control the pharaohs and the populace and kind of take control of Egypt throughout the centuries from the building of the pyramids from what we've seen in the uh, CGI trailer all the way to you know the time of Bayek they're still around so obviously this is an order that's been in within the inner workings of the politics in Egypt for a long long time uh, so that's gonna be an interesting storyline to see how these not really assassins yet versus not really Templars yet or maybe instruments of the first world we don't really know how it's all going to work i think there's gonna be a lot of complexity to this and a lot of kind of easter eggs hinting towards what we know in the future so that's exciting and i am excited for the storyline uh, i really hope it turns out well obviously through some writing complications we know Dan mcdevitt was originally writing it and now he's not and that worries me you know i i'm not really sure what to think right of how this script's going to turn out but i'm hoping for the best and I am excited to see how the storyline turns out, because it's always a massive part of any Assassin's Creed game. So, that's it for this episode of the Countdown series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below of the storyline in Assassin's Creed Origins. And like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as well, I don't run any ads here on this channel. So if you feel like supporting me, just head over to patreon.com slash as always. Chuck me a dollar, or maybe more, whatever you'd like. Get heaps of cool bonus podcasts and content as well as other cool perks and rewards. Just check it out. And if you don't have a few bucks to toss, that's okay too. Just enjoy this ad-free video content, and I will see you guys for the next episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series.